Hey, HCG family. It's me, Miss HCG Girl, and I know I look really funny right now, but I have, my hair is just so static electricity and so messed up because I didn't get to fix myself the way I normally do. I have no makeup on or anything like that. It has been a crazy day here in Tennessee today. So I am checking in today. I think today is very low calorie day 20. Today's January 28th. And uh, I woke up this morning and my weight was 159.2. I had lost another 0.4 from yesterday. And uh, really happy about that, you guys, because I'm still on antibiotics. Today's the last day of my antibiotics. So I am a happy woman. So tomorrow starts sort of, you know, without the medicine in me to see what it, what's going to happen then. But uh, anyway, I will take that. I was really excited about that weight this morning, um, weight loss. I was just glad I didn't gain because I sort of felt really tight before I went to bed last night. You know, like my joints were tight. I had walked on the treadmill and everything. I'll take it. I will take it. Um, anyway... I got to watch a few vlogs today. Today has been crazy. <laughs> we were actually called to not get any snow, maybe dusting around the area where I live here in Tennessee, like more close to the mountains, because I live about 40 minutes from the mountains. And um, we have like three inches outside, okay? So my day started out crazy because the aide didn't show up for the bus, so I had to go take my daughter to school. Um, I, when I finished that, my other daughter, who's 21, uh, Virginia, she is sick, like flu-like symptoms, like throwing up, diarrhea, fever. So I go get her some Sprite to bring to her house. She says, can I come over to your house? Sure. <laughs> so she had made a doctor's appointment and she wanted me to take her. So I jump in the shower to, to get ready for that. As soon, there was no snow. As soon as I get out of the shower, I look outside, and there is snow everywhere. And it's like 18 or 20 degrees here, so it's everything's freezing. I get a text message instantly after that. It, the schools are closing at 12 o'clock, and I'm like, oh, great. Her appointment's at 11 o'clock. What am I going to do? So I turned around, and I decided, that's it. I'm just going to call the school and go get her on the way to my other daughter's uh, appointment. And so... I went to go get Ashley, and then I took Virginia to her appointment, and that took an hour, and more snow is coming down and coming down and coming down, and the roads were not salted because we were not prepared for this. And so anyway, to make a long story short, my daughter doesn't have the flu. She has a terrible stomach bug, and the people there told us that uh, people they're seeing people have this five to seven days. And so I am praying that this stays off of me Ashley and my husband because we're housing her to take care of her and now we got to go get her diabetic cat and take care of it probably so God bless her little heart pray for Virginia so that she gets healed quickly just sharing my my a day in the life of Miss HCG girl I have five kids so my my day is always very hectic and exciting and stuff and then my son called me a while ago and he got his assignment he's getting assigned in texas so hey you guys those that live in texas i may come and see you on my way to see my son um, when we do get to go visit him later but uh, i'm excited about that and i think he's getting assigned to fort hood if it sticks if his assignment sticks so we're excited about that and um Anyway, so I just grabbed my husband's hat. He's, he has a bunch of hats because he, he, you know, kayaks a lot and stuff, and he wears these hats everywhere. But I want to give a few. Oh, the other thing I want to share before I start on shout-outs is um, I measured today, you guys, and I was, a, I was pretty shocked, okay? Because uh, last week I only lost .75 of an inch, like less than an inch on my body, and the first week I had lost... 5.7 inches, 5.75 inches on my body. Well, today I lost four inches all over my body. 
it was like, I was like, oh my God, this is incredible. So I'm like almost, I think I'm 10 inches on my body since I started this round. That's incredible. I feel it in my stomach. My stomach has gone down a lot, okay? And, uh, and my 10s are starting to feel loose in the bootay part which I'm happy about because most of my clothes that's in the closet are like eights and sixes, okay? And um, anyway, I just want to give a few shout-outs. If y'all don't, uh, and I'll put their names up here, but um, Donna Simo is getting ready to hit 100 pounds lost in a year, and I want to give a big congratulations, girl. Woohoo! And you know when you hit it, I'm going to dance for you, okay? Because I know that feeling. How exciting it is to get to the 100 pound mark and I'm almost back to where that is 155 will be a hundred pounds and um, it's an awesome awesome feeling and uh, congratulations you're almost there and Mimi HCG I almost spit out my whole smoothie when I was watching her dance on her video it was she was dancing. She goes, it's like the Hawaii Five O song. It's more like hula, whatever. And I, was, I had that song going through my head, my head as you were singing that, saying that. We watch that all the time. I watch that every week. I loved that show when I was growing up. Who didn't back then? Um, and um, Maurice and Sergio is getting ready to start around. Marie HCG. And I want to wish them the best. And I didn't bring it in this room, but if you have a myotate, that is a great thing to use for a measuring tool on your body. M-Y-O-T-A-P-E. And it's like $5 from Amazon, you guys. And it will save you a lot of trouble because it's a tape measure that hooks into itself. So when you're doing your arms and stuff like that, you just hook it in the thing and you press this button and it closes on itself. I know that sounds crazy. I'm not giving you a great example. <laughs> But look it up. There's probably people showing it on YouTube. I have videos where I've showed it before. And um, Kathy's channel. Kathy. Kathy Hawkins. Kathy's coming back on a round with Jenny and Eileen and them uh, in February. And Marie. So anyway, I want to wish you the best, Kathy. And uh, encourage you on your come back here and you know everybody was writing underneath your vlog reboot maybe you ought to call it your reboot round like kick it in the butt you know what I'm saying like a, a boot a bootie <laughs> just saying it sounds it sounds sort of catchy reboot bootie <laughs> um, and also um, I just wanted to plug something in here you know just to give you guys something to think about today you know, the shirt that I'm wearing here, and I'll stand up and show you. Hopefully, I won't get blinded by the light here. But this shirt is from the hike that me and my husband did when I had reached my goal weight. Uh, a year before, we had made a goal, and the goal was to go uh, hike Mount Leconte, which is in the Smokies. It's the um, tallest mountain in the Smokies to go and hike. And uh, there's a lodge up there, and people rent cabins and all of this, right? But it's... It's quite an ordeal, and we did it in one day. We did, it was like 12.2 miles on my Fitbit registered, and um, it's all uphill. It was, I can't remember how many, 2,500 steps it counted that I, like, climbed uh, floors, 2,500 floors or something like that that it counted, uh, or feet that we climbed to get up to this place. But anyway, I'm sort of rambling here, but, you know, that's like the HCG journey, you guys. When you start on the HCG journey, this is what I want to, I want to help some people right here who may, uh, they're still unsure whether they should do HCG, they shouldn't do HCG and all of this. First of all, I do, everything I do, I pray about it. I go to the Father and I say, Father, Show me the way. Show me where it's going to be the most successful, the direction that you, I know you want me to have my temple in order, and show me what you want me to do to get it there. He may give you such a piece about HCG. If he does, he's going to give you the desire to learn everything about HCG. There are some people that are still unsure and they don't have a lot of faith in this particular method because they don't really understand this method they haven't studied this method out and stuff 
this may not be the path for you. So the reason I'm saying all that, right, it's sort of like my mountain hike. We planned a year ahead of time to do this hike. We knew it was going to take all day, that we would have to start at 8 in the morning or 9 in the morning, and we would be hiking almost all day long, up and coming down. We would have to have breaks. We planned the whole thing. What happens if this happens, if that happens? We planned it. That's how it is when you go on a weight loss journey. If the HCG is your weight loss journey, then focus and have, first of all, have such a knowledge about what you're getting ready to do. Don't waste time. Don't waste time on any moment in this process. If you've not read Pounds and Inches, go read Pounds and Inches. Uh, if that isn't the version you want to read, then go read somebody else's version of Pounds and Inches. There's so many different people out there marketing the HCG protocol. And this is my cat, you guys, that's making a lot of noise. Come here, Paco. Come here. Come here. Anyway, so what I'm trying to share is, is that once you get the root, the root fixed, that this is the protocol for you. This is the direction you're supposed to go in. Then start watering that direction with knowledge, okay? Start watering this direction. If you've just found me on YouTube, start watching video logs of all the most recent people doing HCG. All you have to do is go on YouTube, put in HCG protocol or HCG diet, and click today or this week and all the vlogs that have tags in it with HCG and protocol will come up on YouTube okay the one the most recent ones and then you'll see the people that are vlogging most recently go subscribe to those people and start commenting on their videos they will come comment on your channel and start putting up videos yourself when I decided to video log my journey on uh, my HCG journey on YouTube. I didn't do it because I wanted to be popular. I didn't do it because I wanted to make money. I didn't do it um, because uh, I wanted people to say, hey, look at me. I did it because I needed support, you guys. I needed accountability. And that's why I did it. And you're going to need that. Anybody watching me right now, you need some kind of accountability in your life. Maybe the, maybe the YouTube community isn't, isn't the accountability you want. Well, then find a friend and start being accountable to that person every day or somebody in your family that you can share what you're doing with your weight every day. You really need accountability, especially if you're the type of person that's 50 to 100 pounds or more overweight you need accountability do you honest and i'm not saying the people who need who are that much less overweight like the 25 or the 30 or whatever that you don't need accountability but i am talking about people that are foodaholics people that have had food addiction behavior you need accountability in your life don't think that you're going to have success and that that tree of Keeping the weight off is going to stay in your life if you don't water it properly. You really need to do this. So, and I'm also calling out old time people or people who are watching me who have fallen off the bandwagon or you're not vlogging anymore and you used to be a part of this YouTube community. Get back on here and start talking where you are in your life. Who cares if you're not doing HCG? Talk about what you're doing, why you're doing it, and who you're doing it for with your weight. If your weight is still getting out of control, get a grip on it. Pray about it. Ask God to help you. If you don't ask Him to help you, how do you expect you... Listen, listen, listen. If I could do everything in my life, if I could figure out everything and be my own God and do everything on my own. I don't need other people's help. I don't even need a God. But I can promise you this, right? It's through humility. Okay, team. sorry people. <laughs> so really, sorry about that. That was a phone interruption. But what I want to share is that it is so critical to have the foundation of your house 
correct. I don't care whether you're doing a weight loss program, you're starting a business, you're starting uh, a new organization, you're starting some new path in your life, make sure the foundation's correct. And that's all I want y'all to realize is that when you are, your goal is to lose weight, to get healthy, um, to get to a different size, to get down to a lower number or something like that. Look at the long-term success of that and have your long-term vision and your goal in sight, right? What am I going to do when I reach that? Ask yourself these questions and listen. I can't do it without God, okay? I have to go to some a supernatural power that's greater than myself and I have to ask Him on a daily basis to help me, to guide me, to fill me with His Spirit, to live in me and through me even through the little things I do every day, whether it's cooking my, for my family, cleaning the toilets in the house, um, uh, my friendships, my uh, everything I do, I want to do it with his help and his assistance so that people feel love through what I'm doing. That's how I believe, and that's really what I wanted to share in this. So anyway, I've talked enough. I'm going to get off here. I just want to tell you guys, I love you. Don't be offended. I'm just sharing my journey. Peace. Deuces. Out.